Well, good Sunday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here. And of course, as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you guys are all having a great Sunday. Uh, at 5 o'clock Eastern, we'll be doing our usual Zoom in call live stream. I hope you guys tune in for it. For it. You know, we always have a great time with that. Uh, I enjoy talking with all of you great fans and stuff. And we're going to recap what's happened in preseason as we get ready to make uh, roster cuts and stuff uh, come Tuesday. Uh, there's a lot of guys that are, you know, may have made a name for themselves. Guys are going to be cut, and we'll be definitely talking about that. But um, people will talk about me because I end up doing things like, you know, watching Philly 500 and, you know, I had some Eagle fans. Why are you watching the Eagle game? I didn't realize that it was illegal to watch Eagle games. I feel that you must know the enemy and know their strengths and weaknesses and things. And some of the things that I've learned from watching the Eagles is they are not good against play action. The Eagles are not good against play action. And that's where I think if the Cowboys use 12 personnel, run the football, they can bootleg and play action them to death, and that will be the way that you beat them. Honestly, I, I honestly do. That's what I've seen thus far. Now, that may be start, you know, they may be better with their starters, but the guys that have played definitely aren't being taught well. So, you know, maybe the, the starters understand this, but then that means the, the backups have a long ways to go. The other thing that I watch, and I'm not the only one because Philly actually said it with his uh, Philly Shakedown uh, podcast last night, and him and I have talked about it. You know, the NFL has evolved into a kinder, gentler NFL. It used to be you'd go to training camp to get in shape, and you would end up busting your ass and running and jumping and everything else, and you would get in shape in training camp. The NFL is not like that anymore. And in fact, I've kind of talked about the Eagles quite a few times because they didn't do a mini camp. They ended up not even using all the full OTA days. When we were actually in training camp, they had a day where they just, instead of having a full practice, they had like 47 minutes or 57 minutes of conditioning and they broke. They have not done a whole lot of stuff. And and listen, let, let me put on Philly 500 and just listen to him, his reaction from last night's game. My point of contention is a little, little bit like yours. My my thing is this: is about an hour and a half before they played, I was reading something and it was coming out of Miami, and it was like, here's a list of everybody that's scratched, and it was like the whole starting team. And then all of a sudden, we started hearing, oh, they're going to play their stars right right before the game. And to me, if I'm Nick Sirianni, as soon as I know they're playing their starters, starters get in there. I'm not letting somebody come out and embarrass my team like that. He admits being embarrassed. If Miami said we're playing our starters and the Eagles said then we're going to play ours, I bet you money Miami doesn't play their starters. I bet you money they don't play their starters. So I get aggravated because, yeah, it's preseason. I don't really care about who wins or loses, but I'm not going to let some team go and just destroy me and make me embarrass me to build them up. You know, I'm not going to do it. Um and that's exactly what happened. So I had I had giant issue with that. My other issue is I don't understand how this team thinks in terms of players that need to be seen, that we need to see. Why do I have to watch Chinstrap every week? Oh he absolutely stinks. He's horrible. Why is Huntley still playing? Like, I need to see Carson Strong. I need to see these guys. And I don't see them. Now, they could say, well, you know, we have practice and stuff, but clearly practice isn't game speed. Practice isn't even preseason. I mean, look how many missed tackles. Look at these guys look tired. Like, yeah. I don't I don't like the, the whole preseason philosophy. That's my biggest point of contention with the whole thing, you know? Yeah, I mean, Sinning For is, once, is... Philly 500 may be right. He may be right, and... I want to play this because this is <clears throat> actually a quote from George Patton. But Jimmy Johnson puts it the right way. You know, I, I think there's a misconception about football. People think that football is for tough guys. You know, tough guys. Bull. Football 
rewards the guys that are in great condition. That's when you have fun. When you're kicking somebody's ass and they're sucking for win. There was a great coach one time says, fatigue makes cowards of us all. <coughs> what if I walked up here and said, you're a coward. You're a coward. You wouldn't like it, would you? But that's the reality of it. When you're tired, you make mistakes, mm -hmm. you don't do what's right, and your will to win all of a sudden starts to waver just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You get tired and all of a sudden you don't have that same fight. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. All of us. Fatigue Me makes included. cowards of us all. I guarantee you. When I was on that damn TV show and I hadn't had any sleep and I hadn't had any food and I, bugs are biting on my ass, I wasn't a big tough guy. I'm saying, what the hell am I doing here? <coughs> Fatigue makes cowards of us all. If you're in great shape, if you can run like a deer, at the end of the ball game, you're going to be smiling and having fun. And let me tell you something, guys. This is going to be the greatest time in your life. I used to sit in this same ass room. I look at the schedule and I say, God, oh, I can't wait till Oklahoma comes in here. I can't wait till Florida comes in here. I want to kick their ass. And that's what you should feel. This is why you came to Miami. That's why you wanted to be a hurricane. Mm. But you can only do it if you're in great shape. And if you're not sucking for win at the end of the game. And when you look across the way and that guy is hanging down, he is a coward. He's a coward because he's tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't. Don't. But Jordan Davis, after two plays, he tired. Looking at the Eagles in preseason, they look tired. The Eagles look fatigued. Now, I'm going to tell you, I don't know how good my team is, but I'm going to tell you something right now. They may end up getting penalties because they're aggressive. Because they're coming after you. They want to lay a blow. I will take that kind of penalty from a guy who's out there, not a coward, that's not fatigued, a guy that's coming to kick your ass other than somebody out there dogging it. You know, in 2020, it sucked. It sucked. Watching our defense that was pathetic. And you know what that defense was? DeMarcus Lawrence said, we're soft. But you know what they really were? They were cowards. You had Xavier Woods talking about nobody gives 100% because he was a coward. He was soft. And I look at the Eagles... I look at the Eagles, Philly 500. You even said it. They look tired. They look tired. I don't understand the practices where they, you know, they don't hit. They, I don't understand not having as many practices as possible, many opportunities as possible to get these guys' ass in shape. But I will say, I have yet to see a single player out on the field for the Dallas Cowboys that was a coward. They seem like they're in shape. They seem like they're flying to the ball. I can't say that about Eagle players. And that, my friends, is the difference sometimes between winning and losing. Between winning and losing. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. 
Get out. Because it matters.